Surfboard fins have a major influence on how you and your surfboard perform together. Sure, there's magic in the surfboard design, but it's the fins that brings that magic to life. So we're gonna check in with some of the world's best surfers and chat to them about their preferred fin templates. <laughs> how you doing, Chloe? Yeah. Thanks for having me, buddy. Yeah. Good to see you. So, Chloe, uh, we got a Northwest wind swell. What do you ride on days like this? Those are kind of waves I surf every day and grew up surfing, so it's nothing new. <laughs> this is one that I kind of have a hard time getting off because it works so good. It's like a skateboard. Yeah. It's like an 80s skateboard. Kind of had a period in my career where I just want to have like as most, much fun as I can. It's like one of those boards where, you, I'm sure you had these boards where you like take them in case the waves are always bad, but then you never end up riding them. But then the one time you leave it at home is when you needed it. Yeah. <laughs> you can ride it as a quad or a thruster. So the Biolos fins work good if I just want to get a lot of speed. Essentially, that's everything is just speed in those uh, beach breaks, right? Especially at like T Street or even like super small uppers or something yeah. when you're like connecting the dots and you want to like, like get over there and get over there and get over there. Let's see your magic whip. I just put it away like it was never to be seen again. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this is a board that I just got like a week ago and kind of one of those boards where you like take off and you're first like five or six waves you kind of just like nothing feels wrong with it which is in my head case of a brain pretty rare mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh yeah just immediately went back into the board bag i've just been at the u.s champs the last four or five days around churches and everything <laughs> and 90 percent of the kids are on your fin oh really <laughs> you are the favorite my fin is one of the best fins for like waves around here so it makes a lot of sense that the kids would like it. There's like a thinner foil on the thing. So already it just bends and it just pops through every single section over here. Yeah. The waves around here, you can't go over like that 12 miles per hour. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that's basically the one of the best fins you could ever get under that 12 miles per hour kind yeah. of speeds. You know what yeah. I mean? The thing's bouncing, the thing's popping in every little section. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you just have, you have to generate the speed yourself. One trillion what you're saying. I feel like it kind of loosens up the board and like makes it a little bit more skatey. Mm -hmm. And it's still very hard for me to find a fin that's better than mine backhand on all conditions though. Yeah. I do actually use the accelerator fin a lot. It was actually named perfectly because it just felt like it would be like accelerating through the maneuvers. Whereas my fin is like going so fast that it feels like when the wave was pushing me that it, it would make my board break. I see. Whereas that would like keep it on rail and like actually bite in and accelerate through the maneuver. Nice. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> if I have like a magic board, it'll work good with my fin if it's like smaller and you have to generate your own speed. And then if the wave's pushing you, then I can use the accelerator fin. The accelerator itself just has a little bit less rig. So have you pivot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You don't need all that, all that rake, I guess, for that grip and oil. You actually want less fin when it gets bigger, so. Yeah, so yeah. anything 6'2 and up, I always go to a medium. Nice. Yeah, so just make it easy. I actually remember, because I was like a stubborn Grom, holding on for dear life to like the whole like glass on fins. And I actually remember feeling like when I got onto FCS and started trying like their fins and they were gonna make my fin and all that stuff, like my boards actually did feel a little bit faster than the um, glass ons, so. What do you like about the FCS 2 system? That I don't have to travel with pin keys <laughs> and screws. The convenience, like if I wanted to try a, a board and couple sets of fins like just coming in and popping them in and out is just like takes five seconds oh there's actually one other one too that's like i don't think anyone thinks about is when you fall and your fin hits you but then the fin comes out and then the fin doesn't cut you because it falls out whereas if it was screwed in you'd get a hundred stitches it just goes think and then you're like oh i lost my fin but i don't have to go to the er 
All right, so um, I work nine to five. I like to go surf lowers, <laughs> low tide and honey, every single day. Huntington, the lowers. Um, I surf. Cardiff. But I only could afford three fins. Uh, what do you think I should get? I'm just thinking if you're a nine to five guy and you have like three boards where you're like, okay, like a, like a fun board and then like a short board if the waves are good around town and then yep. like you're going on a trip and you want to get good waves or whatever. So I would go, I would go round nose fish paired with the MR twin fin with the, with this, with the guitar pick in the back. Nice. And then I would go sub driver mayhem with KA fins for around here just every yep. day and like lowers if it's like good or whatever. And then I would go driver OG with the accelerator fin. Sick. Large. Done. <laughs> Done. Okay, Chloe, thanks for having me, brother. <laughs> I you. appreciate it. Right on. Good seeing him, man. Fun stuff. <laughs>